This trip wasn't a vacation for us. It was a trip to a family event. Our son-in-law was graduating from the basic school at the Marine Base Quantico, and we wanted to go, but we had a new puppy. We also have a new truck and a new camper, so it made sense to turn it into a road trip. My husband still had to work, but we could base ourselves in Western Virginia for the week, enjoy some sightseeing, and make it to Quantico in time for his graduation. This area was generally familiar to us. We prefer to go this way from Atlanta to Washington, but it was nice to slow down and get to know the place better. Also, the scenery is beautiful and the people are so friendly, warm, and welcoming. We left Atlanta after work on Friday, which is always stressful and frenetic, and so we got a late start. Our first night was going to be at a Harvest Host Stay, and you promise you're gonna spend money in exchange for them letting you camp there. So we tried to make it without stopping for gas, and we almost ran out, but we didn't. We had stayed at Golden Grove before and had a wonderful time, and we did again. Again, we're treated like we were long lost friends. Our dog, Hank, who is 16, had the night of his life. Sure. But there's a high pitched whine because why? Well, it's like saying the polarity is reversed on our battery, on our solar charger. Hmm. Seems hard to believe because it wasn't reversed before. Randy fixed that with some of his handyman magic. He took the control panel off, looked at things, put it back on, and then it worked. Randy, why are you sad right now? <laughs> oh, because I left my work computer at home and I have to have it. Yep. For work. Uh, work. <laughs> work we coming up. Yeah, for work. So, our idea to get out of town and get an early start today. So we were a little bummed about the extra driving, but Hank was so sad when he thought our trip was already over. check it out. Because of our extra time on the road, we got to Brady's 30 minutes before they closed. But everybody again was so nice. They recommended we just have a couple drinks and listen to the last of the music since there really wasn't time to do a nice tasting. They have hookups there too, at least power hookups. So we had a great night in Roanoke. Love to go back and visit the city a little bit more sometime.
By lunchtime the next day, we found ourselves in the small town of Buchanan, Virginia. We ate at Tammy's place, and everyone loved the dogs, so we got to know our server and his mom, the other server, and Tammy came out of the kitchen to talk to us about dogs too. We stopped at Natural Bridge State Park for a little break and a short walk. I've been there a number of times, but I always forget that the bridge actually is quite amazing. I think there's something about areas that are more heavily developed and easy to get to, but you forget how beautiful they are. We saw a couple snakes too. Not so beautiful. Our home away from home for the next few days was Luray, Virginia and the spacious skies Shenandoah campground. Luray is a pretty small town. It's close to the beginning of Skyline Drive and Shenandoah National Park. But we were mostly going to stay in Luray, enjoy the campground, which had a great area for kids too, a swimming pool, a good playground. But for us, it was just to enjoy being out in the country. Our dogs absolutely loved this place. It had a great dog park and we were always the only ones there. Maggie found a nest of robins on our campsite. And probably most exciting for Maggie and Hank, although Pepper was too young to know, was that every time we went outside our camper, there were rabbits. This was our first trip with our new Lance 1985 camper, which we bought to replace a little guy, Max. And it was really nice to have room for all the dogs. I went into Luray and walked a little ways on the Luray Hawksville Greenway. It's really pleasant, not that long, but it does go all the way into the town where I enjoyed visiting a bookstore too. Randy and I went on bike rides after work on the streets just right around the campground. While Randy was working, I thought I'd drive a little ways on the Skyline Drive, but then found out that would be $30, and I didn't want to do it that badly. So I went into Front Royal and found the Royal Shenandoah Greenway, which is a really lovely greenway, much longer and at the biggest dog parks I've ever seen. I didn't take my dogs on the park because Hank's a jerk and Pepper's too little. After Randy got off work, we decided to go out to dinner in Front Royal too. So we stopped by Shenandoah River State Park. I've heard it's a great place to camp, but you need to make your reservations far in advance. The campsites fill up. It did look absolutely beautiful. There was a canoe launch on the Shenandoah River and a really nice large picnic area, even though the weather that night wasn't good for a picnic. So we ended up in town at Vibrisa Beer. Had a really good dinner. Randy found some good cider and I enjoyed my beer. The tourist attraction that Luray, Virginia is most known for is Luray Caverns and I almost didn't go. There's a ropes course there and a car museum. It's really developed for tourism and somehow that makes me think maybe I don't want to see it. But I remembered that my mother, who was claustrophobic and usually hated caves, always talked about how gorgeous the caverns were at Luray. And so I did go while Randy was working one day, and I'm so glad I did. It was the most amazing cave. Yes, it's very accessible, which is great, really. And the formations, it's just overwhelming. And we go to caves everywhere. I mean, we've been to caves in France, Italy, Slovenia, Alabama. <laughs> but these were spectacular by any measure.
archaeologists tell us it grows at the rate of one inch every 300 years. So, seven million years in age is the answer we're giving on that information. It's a self-guided tour, which is also nice because you can take as long as you want. But there are people stationed around who can answer your questions. And I had a nice chat with the woman who was watching the mermaid's pool where people drop money. She told me every week they pull the paper bills out and dry them in the maintenance shed. In addition to the beautiful caverns, I got to see some woodchucks up close, which I loved. We had planned a campfire dinner for our last night in Luray, but there was some real agriculture going on, so the smell was too strong, and we went into town to the speakeasy. The next two days for us were all about our son-in-law and the U.S. Marine Corps. To camp fairly close to Quantico, we stayed at Pohick Bay Regional Park. There's a really short trail that takes you over to Gunston Hall, which was George Mason's home, which was a great place to walk around, although we couldn't go in with our dogs. Today we break away, forget our fear of what comes after. On the way home, we just stopped at places that we've always seen the signs for and been curious about. White Oak Lavender Farm was so worth the stop. First, the owner was so nice to help us pull our rig into their place where they put food trucks sometimes. It really took him like 10 minutes to help us figure out how to do that. And then the wine was good. Wine with lavender was something new to me. Our last campsite was one I found at the very last minute, that day, on the New River. And it was amazing. We had a beautiful view of the countryside and the New River, and you could walk to the New River Trail from our campsite, which was great. And full hookups. trip was almost done, but there was one more place that we've always wanted to stop, and that's Mount Airy, North Carolina. Mayberry, only the real one. We had lunch at Thirsty Souls, which was a great outdoor patio, and of course we made friends, people who love the dogs. Mount Airy was fun. There was a drive-in classic car show that day. And I'd actually like to go back sometime when I knew what was going on at the Earl, because that looks like a cool historic theater to visit. Since this wasn't a vacation, 
We couldn't take the time to travel on the Blue Ridge Parkway or Skyline Drive, but it was still a great trip. A lot of the scenery was beautiful, but my favorite part was the people we met. I had so many enjoyable conversations, and everywhere I felt a strong sense of community and welcome.